When all of the veneers are in place, I use orange wood sticks on the facial and incisal to ensure that they're fully seated against the preparations. With the proper planning, with the diagnostic wax up, transitioning from patient acceptance, preparation, to final restorations can be done quite seamlessly. Now we're on to the final delivery, and we need to ensure that the temporary material is completely removed. The temps can be somewhat tricky to remove since they were bonded in. Here I use a slow speed carbide round burr to facilitate the removal of the bonded acrylic and ensure we reach the preparations beneath. Very gentle pressure at a speed of 2000 RPM will do the trick. I finished cleaning the preparations with a Profi cup and pumice paste at a very slow speed of about 2 or 3000 RPM. Now it's time we try in the final Bruxer aesthetic veneers in place. Once the margins and contacts are verified, we can now begin the bonding sequence. I use a total etch technique, first etching the preps with 37% phosphoric acid, etching numbers 11 through 13, followed by 7 through 10, and then 4 through 6, breaking them apart to ensure we aren't over etching any teeth. Once the teeth have been etched, a thin layer of gluma is used as a desensitizing and antimicrobial agent. I allow the gluma to sit on the teeth for at least a minute, allow it to soak into the teeth, and then remove any excess with a dry microbrush. With gluma, it's important to avoid allowing the material to come into contact with the soft tissue as it can be an irritant to those soft tissues. After gluma, I then scrub a layer of 3M Scotch Bond Universal for at least 20 seconds per tooth to ensure the resin monomers effectively infiltrate any exposed dentinal tubules and into the enamel matrix. These veneers have already been aerobrated with aluminum oxide at the lab. After we try them in, we need to now prepare these zirconia veneers for bonding. To ensure we have a pristine intaglial surface for bonding, we scrub Ivoclean for 20 seconds in each veneer to remove any salivary phosphates that may have adhered during the try-in. Phosphate groups have a very high affinity for zirconia and can compromise bonding. Ivoclean is a special formulation that effectively removes these unwanted layers. Once the restorations have been washed and dried, we then use Monobond Plus, which is an MDP containing primer that is the special coupling agent needed to bond zirconia restorations to resin. Now I seat each restoration with Kerr's NX3 Universal Resin Cement. I like using this cement for its handling properties and the fact that it's light cured to set. Since it's a light cured cement, it offers unlimited working time, allowing me to seat all of the restorations at the same time. When all of the veneers are in place, I use orange wood sticks on the facial and incisal to ensure that they're fully seated against the preparations. Once they're fully seated, I tack cure along the margins to hold the veneers in place and to allow for easy removal of the gelled cement. The final Bruxer aesthetic veneer successfully created a fuller, more youthful smile that the patient was extremely thrilled about. With the proper planning, with the diagnostic wax up, transitioning from patient acceptance, preparation, to final restorations can be done quite seamlessly.